Hi guys, today we're unboxing and reviewing a gaming headset. So this particular one's from Logitech, it's the G733. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So this is a wireless gaming headset, comes in a number of different colors. So we're gonna be taking a look at the black version, but you can also get it in blue, white, or lilac. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Get lots of documentation, general compliance and warranty details, including how to connect up the microphone and where the battery is in the headset, I guess. So if you wanted to replace it, you get a wireless dongle and this is what provides the wireless functionality on this. It's got a G logo on there, all matte black finish all the way around. You get a charging cable, USB-A connector on one end and Type-C on the other. Cable length is 180 centimeters and cable quality feels good. You get a microphone, got a 3.5 mil connector on there and the length of this is 10 centimeters and you can see it is flexible and has a good build quality to it. Coming onto the headset, the build of this is strong plastic all the way round, matte black finish on there, but you've got the G733 in glossy black embossed in there. Then you've got the G logo at the side and that's a chrome finish on there and the same on the other side too. It's adjustable at the ear cups. So if I move them, you can see the step counter just there and the same applies on the other side. You've got a headband at the top and very nice and comfortable. This is removable as well, just a matter of pulling it away. And there's two adjustments on this and you can replace these two. You can see it's dual color and each headset has a different color for this headband. The headset itself is very light. It only comes in at 278 grams. It's got 40 millimeter drivers here. The ear pads are of dual layer memory foam and are really nice and comfortable. You can see as I push it down, the memory phone goes in and just slowly comes back up again. This is removable too, so you can take it off for cleaning. You can see the 40 millimeter driver just over here. The ear pad has an indication of the side it goes on, so obviously right, and then you've got left there. On the left-hand side, you've got the microphone connection point and looking at the end of the microphone connection, there's a line there. You just gotta ensure when you push it in, it goes all the way in and the line disappears. Then you know you've pushed it in sufficiently. Coming around this way, you've got the mute button, volume control, tactile feel to this as you're turning it, power button and Type-C charging point. Right-hand side, there's no controls on here. The sides here have RGB and if I turn the headset on, there you go, appears. So if you're a streamer, it'll look pretty cool if you had that coming on. I've tried it out. I do notice a slight bit of light coming onto my glasses, but it can be turned off by their G-Hub software. The wireless range on this is around 20 meters. Battery life on this is around 29 hours with a volume on 50% and no lights on. But as soon as you turn the lights on, that drops to 20 hours. To use the headset with your PC, you're gonna to have to use the wireless dongle. It doesn't work off the cable directly. So if I plug that into my PC now. Coming onto the Logitech G-Hub software, this is how the headset's presented. So G733, you've got how much battery is left on here and a little battery icon. Now, what I've done, I'm doing a screen record on my computer and I'm using the headset at the same time. So the quality you're hearing now is a quality to expect from the headset straight out of the box without making any amendments or enabling blue voice on here. So now if I go into the headset, you're presented with the acoustics option. You can adjust the volume, mic, and go into enable advanced equalizer settings. So you can play about with the equalizer settings. You've also got some default presets as you can see down here and then turning off those advanced equalizer settings, you've got bass and treble options here. Looking in surround sound, this is how you enable surround sound options. So this is virtual surround sound, so it tries to replicate the 7.1 surround sound setup. You can even test it out here. You've got different surround sound modes, and then you've got DTS super stereo modes. So you can change that as well. Next, coming onto microphone, you can see the mic level here. You can take that down if it's too high and you've got an option to test out the quality you're getting. So you can hit record and then play it back to yourself and then you can get it to exactly how you want it. So now let's enable the blue voice technology on here. And now what you're hearing is with the blue voice technology and you can hear for yourself the sudden change in quality of sound sound is much better. Now, looking at the options you have at the side, you've got equalizer settings here, so low, mid, and high. And then looking over here, you've got additional ones just to make slight adjustments on it to your exact requirements. You've also got some presets at the side here. 
and flipping between them just to briefly show so am radio then broadcaster one broadcaster two fm station high voice loud but i'll flip back to broadcaster one and you can see the changes that happen with the settings here you can also save your own presets on here and then now coming over to assignments now there's one option you can program on the headset and that's the mute button. So you can actually record a macro against it or just get it doing other things. It's a shame there's only one option on there. It would be nice if it had a couple, at least you can do other things with that. But again, it's nice just having an option available to enable you to do that. Next, coming over here onto light sync, you can change the lighting on the headsets. So you can change the colors on there, the rate, the colors changing, the brightness levels. Then we've got sync lighting zone. So if you had other Logitech products with RGB on there, you can get the lighting zone syncing up and then clicking here, sync lighting options and going in there, it will allow you to pick the products you want to sync up with. So I've got the Pro Wireless and the G915. Click the X and that's syncing in conjunction. Looking in the corner, you've got the battery level, the percentage remaining and approximate life remaining on there before it needs the next charge. Going into settings, Gives you some more details regarding the power consumption on here. Device startup effect, low battery mode. So it's currently set to breathing red. So you can change that. And notifications, you can get a voice prompt for the battery level being low. Desktop notifications as well. Then you've got power management. And this is where the headset hasn't been used for a certain period. It will just automatically power off after that period. And that's what you have available in there. And this is all the options you have available in the Logitech G Hub software for this. And to make full use of it, definitely worth installing this. Now testing this headset out on an Xbox Series X, plugging it in, you can see a light turn on. Looking on the console, nothing appears indicating that it's hooked up to the headset. So it doesn't work at all with an Xbox. Very easy to get the headset working with your PlayStation. So it's just a matter of turning on your PlayStation and just plugging in the dongle. Make sure your headset's on too. Now on the console, you'll see this logo appear, meaning the headset's paired up. So there's nothing beyond that you need to do. And you can just leave it plugged in permanently. If you're using the headset and it ran out of battery power, you can just use a power bank to charge it and use it at the same time, or just plug it in. If you plugged it into a PC, you still need that wireless dongle to be plugged in to continue using the headset. The headset does rely on that dongle for the wireless connectivity. If you muted the headset or unmuted it, you get a color indication at the front. So red for muted and green for unmuted. And it gives a slight sound as well. So let me demonstrate that. And if you wanted to know if it was at maximum volume, you also get a noise when you go to maximum, but nothing at minimum. So let me demonstrate that. Now, to give you an idea of the quality to expect from this microphone, what I've done, I've plugged in the headset into my PlayStation and I'm doing a screen record on my Xbox to give you an indication of what the quality to expect from the microphone. So what you're hearing now is the quality that the other person will hear when they're using the headset. Now, quality isn't too bad at all. The headset itself, I think it is good what you hear. In terms of the whole immersive feel, gaming wise, it is very good. You do get a good perspective of things around you. So if you're hearing footsteps in the background, it will sort of clearly give you that indication if it's at the side or behind you. So it is quite good. A couple of things to keep in mind. You've seen the G Hub software. Now, those settings you have on there for surround sound and bass and treble, etc., even the blue mic technology on here don't apply on a console. So the, you're getting the default functionality on a console. You don't get anything more than that. So that's a bit of a shame, really. But the general usage on a console is still quite good. So in summary, a really nice headset, very comfortable to wear, hardly any weight to it. Ear pads are nice with their memory foam in there has cool RGB on the front, which can be amended using the G-Hub software together with the sound quality and the mic quality. You've heard for yourself, the mic quality is very good and you can make all sorts of adjustments via the G-Hub software on your PC. Negatives wise, the RGB at the side does reflect back a little bit at the sides on your glasses. If you're a glasses wearer, it could be irritating after a while. And the settings you set via the G-Hub software they don't apply for a console. So if you are gonna use this on a console, you won't get the same sort of sound quality or the microphone's quality. It's still pretty good what you're getting from these, but obviously you can't enhance it anymore. 
It's a shame the headset doesn't have a connection point for a 3.5mm cable, so you can just wire up the headset too. Would have made it more functional because then you could use it on an Xbox. But the fact you can't use it, you're limited, and it's only compatible, obviously, with a PC and a PlayStation. So there you go. I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. Hang around for the end cards. I'll have a playlist with more gaming headsets. Drop me a like as it really does help the channel out. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.